guys, what's going on? Just want to do a video here talking about who I believe will be in Kentucky's starting five for the 2020-21 season. And before I get into my actual thoughts and who I think will actually be in that starting five, I want to start this thing off by saying that I am assuming Olivier Saar will become eligible. And as I've said in many, many videos on this, on this channel on some live streams, I am a firm believer that Olivier Saar will without a doubt become eligible and hopefully within the next couple of weeks, honestly. One new piece of news on that front it just came like a week or two ago when Coach Cal just recently told reporters that he feels confident that Olivier star will be able to become immediately eligible next season so that's another just strong supporting piece of evidence and why i believe he will become eligible and there's a lot of other pieces that i've mentioned on this channel in past videos and the other thing i wanted to mention before i get started is obviously the starting five can be altered and changed throughout the course of a season because you just never know how a team will truly gel until obviously until they start playing together then also as the season like continues to progress and uh, you really don't get that official starting five that really just remains constant until probably i would say mid january to late january time and sometimes it takes even longer than that to actually figure out what the, the best starting five is so i just want to preface this video off by saying that right away and getting right into it my starting point guard for my starting five is davion mintz the reason why i'm going with davion mintz over devin askew to start the season off is because of his leadership and actual in-game experience davion mintz has actually played in two ncaa tournament games one thing about davion mintz is that he'll be the only player on kentucky's actual roster next season that's played in an ncaa tournament game obviously this, i'm talking about the beginning of the season but still i'm going with leadership and experience over the youth to start the season but without a doubt devin askew could be become a starting point guard for Kentucky next season. My starting point guard is Davion Mintz. Then my shooting guard will be BJ Boston Jr. Obviously, you guys have seen footage on him and heard a lot of hype about him coming out of high school, and that hype is well-deserved because he truly is an incredible talent, amazing scorer, and I cannot wait to see what he can do next season. And he's definitely my, my two guard, my shooting guard, and my starting five to start the season off. And he's also a five-star shooting guard out of the state of California, as you all know. And then for my next shooting guard, I'm going with Terrence Clark. Terrence Clark is a five-star shooting guard out of the state of New Jersey. Much like BJ Boston Jr. He's a tremendous talent and Terrence Clark is a tremendous scorer and without a doubt he has to be in my starting five. So to start up my lineup I already have Davion Mintz, BJ Boston Jr. and Terrence Clark and I am going with a three guard lineup because I really like that look for our team last year when we had Emmanuel Quickly, Ashton Higgins, and Tyrese Maxey. It just really seems to be really effective when you have three ball handers like that. It's almost impossible to press because we have three guys that can handle the ball and get out of that and it's also just tremendous for scoring too. So that's my starting guards for my starting five and then getting to the bigs for my starting five. I'm going for my four man the power forward i'm going with keon brooks jr which is a given i think at this point as he's the only returning kentucky basketball player from last from the 2019-20 season aside from dante allen who obviously will be playing next season but he did not play in any game last year he did not play one minute in any game last season so i'm going with keon brooks jr as my as my four man who will be a sophomore next year and obviously his experience he's so versatile being able to basically impact the game in just about every possible way in every single area on the court he can attack the basket he can play defense he can shoot the jumper he can rebound i'm definitely going with keon brooks jr as my four man and then rounding out my starting five i have olivier sar as the starting center for my starting five and this one's obviously a given too because out of all the players we have this is one that i'm honestly most excited to see play next year without a doubt olivier sar is in my starting five so just to recap it really quick i have davion mintz as my starting point guard bj boston jr is a shooting guard terrence clark is another shooting guard and then keon brooks jr and olivier sar is the bigs that is my starting five i also wanted to mention my sixth man who i believe there's a there's many many choices for the sixth man in this case there's really no wrong choice for this but i'm gonna go with lance Ware as my sixth man i really think he has tremendous upside and out of watching all the footage i just see i see something really special in lance Ware. i've seen some comments on past videos of people that, that feel the same exact way and i really do think lance Ware could become one of the biggest surprises on next year's team there's a lot of guys that i think that could definitely surprise but he's obviously up there on the top of my list as far as like who i think will surprise the most next season and then the other subs are devin askew a freshman point guard isaiah jackson a freshman center cameron fletcher a freshman small forward and then dante allen a redshirt freshman small forward as well i know a lot of people say he's a shooting guard but he's listed as a small forward on 24 seven and I, I, I have not seen him play enough to actually truly have like an opinion on him yet and uh yeah i have three guards and two bigs in my starting five and then that's also made up of two seniors one sophomore and two freshmen so i really do love the kind of like diversity as far as like the different age levels in the starting lineup i think i could mean a lot of good things going forward so this is my starting five right here who i believe will start out the 2020 21 season but most importantly though let me know down in the comments who you guys think is in your starting five to start next season and why do you guys agree with my starting five or is there something that is there anyone that i left out that should definitely be in that starting five and uh, stay tuned. There's a lot of videos to come. Tons of content. I have some March Madness mixes already done and ready to go. Obviously, the reactions, I keep talking about them. They are coming, I promise you. There's uh, there's definitely a lot of planning going on behind the scenes of like what parts are coming out next. And trust me, there's, there's just so much content, as you've seen in some of our outros and stuff. Tons of stuff to come. Where's the foul? Where's the foul? We're not going to call anything down there. Where's the foul? 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 Where's the foul?
cannot wait to get all this stuff out to you guys really, really soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Go Big Blue. I've never seen Baker shoot this much in my life.